Welcome to the Morning Swim Show for Tuesday, April 3rd, 2012. I'm your host, Peter Bush. For today's show, we're bringing you an interview I did with Bruce Weigo, the CEO of the International Swimming Hall of Fame. We talked at the Men's Division I NCAA Swimming and Diving Championships recently in Federal Way after the passing of the baton. It's a tradition in college swimming, and we talked to Bruce about the history behind the tradition. Hi, you're watching Swimming World TV. I'm Peter Bush, joined right now by Bruce Weigo. We're on the pool deck at Federal Way, Washington, at the Men's Division I NCAA Swimming and Diving Championships. And after night one of the finals, we just witnessed a special ceremony in college swimming, and Bruce is going to tell us a little bit more about the passing of the baton. Well, in the history of the NCAA, since 1937, there's only been 37 coaches who have had the honor of being the coach of an NCAA championship team. And tonight, we passed the baton, which was the idea of Ray Buzzard, the great Tennessee coach, who was a track coach primarily, not a swimming coach. And he thought that the baton should be passed from one championship coach to the other. So tonight, we had Eddie Reese, who's held the baton for 10 times, passing it to Dave Durden for his first, and along with North Thornton, who came up with him. Eddie Reese's fingerprints are all over that baton by this point. They sure are. Well, the way Dave Durden's going, he might start to uh, put a stake to that baton as well. So, Bruce, obviously you're with the International Swimming Hall of Fame. Tell us how you guys got involved in this. Well, the International Swimming Hall of Fame has a great history with college and swimming. The, first, the second college swim forum was held in Fort Lauderdale in 1936, and that's when it was decided to change the rules of the NCAA to be different from American swimming rules and from YMCA rules. And 1937, after the result of the 1936 meeting in Fort Lauderdale, the NCAA declared the first official NCAA championship under the rules that were decided in Fort Lauderdale in 1936. Hmm. Now, the baton has been hosted by the International Swimming Hall of Fame since its founding. So while each coach gets their own baton, we have the baton with the records of everybody yeah. that's been there. It's like the Olympic torch of college it's, swimming. It's the Olympic torch of college swimming. I think you'd like A nice that. glass yeah. case there at the museum in Fort Lauderdale that we can all visit at any time. Actually, it's not in a glass case. It's out that you can pick up the baton and You hold can it. feel it for yourself. You can, yeah. Well, thanks for explaining that, Bruce. Yeah, it's a great tradition, and it was great to have it here tonight. Right. Good to see. Well, thanks for watching.